I am in the beautiful mountains with, at Thorpewood with Kylie Van Waveren, the executive director of Thorpewood, reimagined, I think, yes. So mm. I was saying to you, I haven't been up here I has to have been, it's been tw more than 20 years that I've been up here. Um, beautiful. I mean, what a great place to work every day. It is wonderful. Um, so tell me, Thorpewood is a place for? So we're a nature-based mental health and social emotional learning center. Okay. We believe that um, we're sort of in the middle of a mental health crisis and mm. a physical health crisis and also a climate crisis and that there's a shared origin of all of these things and that's um, the fact that humans have become really disconnected from nature for the first time in our existence yeah. and it's making us unwell and it's making our planet unwell so the focus of all of our programming is to reconnect humans with the natural world. Okay, how can, is, do you work through an organization uh, or many organizations to get retreats or people up here or is it something some individual can say, you know, I could really use a reconnection? Mm -hmm. How does that work? It's a little bit of both. Okay. So we um, do have a number of nonprofit partners and we work together to co-author curricula that are tailored to the unique needs of their clients. Mm. Um, we also are privileged to be able to invite nonprofits up to come use our space at no cost. And when groups choose to do that, we often try to convince them to engage in some of our programs as well. And then we have a lot of sort of original Thorpewood programming that we offer directly to our community. And these are often um, sort of directly mental health related. For example, we have a monthly grief support group and hike that we do, but sometimes they're more nature education focused. So we might do a mushroom foraging or tree identification event other things just to get people outside enjoying nature and mm. hopefully learning and, and falling in love a little bit. Yeah. How can the Frederick community support you here at Thorpewood? Well, we just would love for more people to come up and engage in our programs and see what we're doing up here. Our mailing list is a great way to just stay informed about what we're doing. Everything we offer is free. Mm. So there's no wow. reason n not to do it. Yeah. And we do a lot of things that, um, like I said, are, are more just nature education focused or f just fun. Yeah. Um, and lots of opportunities for families to come up and stargaze together or we have a spooky history hike coming oh, up fun. with a bonfire <laughs> that'll be this Friday. So we're always trying to think of fun ways to engage the community and um, so we really just want people to come check us out and yeah. share about us. That's, uh, I think, like our biggest Well, we ask. can do yeah. that. We can do, right. I yeah. know, sometimes it's the simplest things that seem the hardest mm -hmm. to, for people to do. So um, we will definitely make sure you have an events calendar then that, okay, so we could add that. Mm -hmm. We've got an, uh, an Everything Frederick events calendar where we kind of pull stuff from all different places. Yeah, that so would be wonderful. So we can start to add what you're doing up here. What would you say, since you've been here, uh, has been the biggest challenge for you as an executive director? Wow. Um, well, I think our greatest asset can also be our, our biggest challenge in some ways, and that's our location. We mm. have 156 beautiful acres mm. at our disposal. Um, and so much here from our charming farm animals to um, the beautiful woods and, and streams on property. But it can also be difficult for folks to get up to us or um, sometimes just by virtue of being up in the mountains, we're not as much on people's radars. Yeah, so, a little out of sight, out of mind, but yeah. that's, that's a great thing too if you're looking to kind of get away from it all, to right? just get away from it all, yeah. We just had a beautiful four-day retreat this past weekend, and so I think 
when people come up, they are richly rewarded. Yeah. Um, so the biggest challenge, again, has yeah. been this sort of reintroduction campaign in our community, letting people know we're yeah. here and yeah. who we are. Yeah. Um, with the um, retreats and things, so there are there places for people to stay on property? Yes, yeah, so we have a historic homestead house that was built in 1790. Um, so there are beds in there. We had uh, 10 people at this past retreat. We even have groups sometimes want to come and tent camp as oh, yeah. sort of part of, of their retreat. And then there are always options for people if they live nearby to return home between. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get that too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not yeah much for a you know, sleeping on the floor thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is beautiful up here. Um, what do you guys, um, well, let me just find out. It, if there was one thing you wanted people of Frederick to know about Thorpe Wood, what, what would that be? That's another really great <laughs> question. I, I think um, I really want people to know that Thorpe Wood is a resource for healing. Um, People who are familiar with us often think of us as an events venue mm. rather than an intentional um, mental health program. And th right. that's really what we're about is yeah. meeting the, the needs of our community through this nature-based programming. Yeah. I mean, what a wonderful focus to have. A great way to become acquainted with us might actually be a regular event series we have in Frederick. Um, every second Tuesday of the month, we have something called Nature on Tap at Rack Brewing Company. Well, there we go. Mm -hmm. Beer and nature, I like it. That's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so every month we have an expert on a certain nature-related topic come and speak. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to build community. And then we're really fortunate that Rack has offered to make a special edition honey IPA using honey from the apiary we have on property here. Wow. So that will be released, we hope, in time for the next Nature on Tap event. Well, that's definitely exciting. And you're right, it kind of connects. You're bringing that to Frederick, hoping to bring people back up here, which exactly. I think is wonderful. Well, I'll make sure that the website is up on screen, as well as we will add all of the public events that you guys have. Um, to our calendar so people are aware that this facility is here for uh, nature and healing and uh, getting people kind of reconnected, I would say. Yeah, thank you. And if I haven't mentioned it, I would certainly like to that everything we do here is offered at no cost. All of our programs are free, even if that's a weekend retreat. It's really um, something that we feel strongly about, that we yeah. want to make everything as accessible as and possible. And how do you guys fund all of that? <laughs> so <laughs> we're very privileged to receive financial support from a charitable trust. Okay. Um, and then we're looking increasingly to alternative funding sources as well. I have a passion for grant writing. Um, and we'll be looking at ways that we can fundraise and, and cultivate uh, donor support yeah. in the coming months. Yeah, I know yeah. that that's a big job, I'm yeah. sure, but it's good that you like to do that. Yeah. Well, we want to thank Kaylee and Thorpe Wood. You've got to get up here, check it out, especially right now with the leaves changing color in the fall. This is a beautiful time to take a drive up through the mountains and Head on out to Thorpe Wood. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Really appreciate yeah. the opportunity. That's great.